smack dab in the middle of I-295 that encircles the city of Jacksonville in Northeast Florida. There's a good look at TIAA Bank Field. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Jacksonville Jaguars. The punter, Logan Cook, set to start the proceedings, and we are underway here in Jacksonville. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They'll start by running the option to the right. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. First carry now for Gus Edwards. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, here's Jackson. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed, his elusiveness, and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Again, it's Edwards. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars' 40-yard line. Going an eight-yard gain, much better shape now on third and just a yard. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. That's Philly Fadukasi who got in there and finished off the play. You and I both know we're into a whole new realm of football because we're not just looking at tendencies anymore. We're looking at analytics, and I've got to think the analytics on third and one say run the football. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out, and he is going to need to bomb this one. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, this offense got to be loving this. After the long miss field goal, they'll take over on the other side of the 50. First and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Ravens have got it. What part do they went empty set there? No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down and fumble the ball. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. Tackle made by Foley Fadukasi, the former UConn Husky. Working with second and five now. Well, that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, the risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. Pulls it in at the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Lawrence. 
He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down, counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Looking to throw again on second down. Lawrence. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Now Lawrence. Flush to his right. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Lawrence will throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. And the Ravens taking the field. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and ten. And they'll run with a late signee in camp. This is Kenyon Drake. They'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down, it's Edwards. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Jackson going to look to run with it. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Coming up on second and seven. That would complete to Prochet. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run once more with Edwards. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Now a draw play with Drake. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. A good gain there on third and eight of seven yards. And now a decision here on fourth and one. This drive is turning into an extended one. And, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And that will keep this a three-point game. Well, he might be the best kicker the game's ever seen. And we've seen him hit from 66, which is the all-time record. But anything 60-plus, that's a very low percentage kick. The touchdown! Zay Jones, 45 yards. And the Jaguars are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. 
The point after through the raindrops up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 44. They'll start by running the option to the right. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. From midfield now, here's Jackson. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Off the option, here's Edwards. Down to about the 22 here. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. They'll run the option left. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. The Ravens on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and eight. And that will be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Tucker's kick is good. And they'll get it back with it a point at 7-6. So the margin shrinks a bit as back-to-back -back drives here for him in with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here's a second-year man from Clemson, Travis Etienne. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Draw play, Etienne. And once again, they stop him behind the line. Great job by this Ravens defense. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Lawrence. And that is incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. This is fielded at the 27. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. Tucker's kick is good. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six oh, field goals. Oh, Brandon, but, but six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. 
And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at the 34. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. And now it's second down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. But right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, Lawrence. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Logan Cook now to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Taken in at the 22. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And they will take over first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. On the option right is Jackson. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. He'll look to ETN to start things out. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. ETN once more. And down he'll go at the 25. Four yards the pick up, first down. Shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. On second down, a run with ETN. And he powers his way up past the 30. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And that will come the offense as they take over. And they'll run the option to start the drive. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. 52 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. On first and 10, it's Jackson. 
And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. It, that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those two. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the 7. He's dropped there. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Ravens will extend their lead here just before halftime. You knew time was going to run out, so this had to be in the end zone. And somehow they were able to find a window and get it done. Very easy for us to talk about up here that, yes, all that had to happen. But when time's running down, sometimes your brain compresses a little bit, too. They show great poise, understanding of situation, making sure they get to the end zone in order to complete that pass and take a nice momentum into the locker room. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Taken from about the 12. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Here's Lawrence to throw. A slant to Jones. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And the tackle going to be made at the 38 couple of first downs right in succession and this is an offense that can really use a good drive and they're off to a fast start here they go play action with Lawrence caught by Jones and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20 a nice gain of 21 yards so from the 17 now here's a first and 10 Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And the Jaguars are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. ETN will get it into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations. And now he's going to go down. A big sack, and they're unable to tie it. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, I keep coming back to I don't like to chase a lot of points, yeah. but I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And he powers his way up past the 30. Tackle made by Devin Lloyd, the linebacker. 
If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. From the gun, it's Drake. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Edwards now on first and 10. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. That's taken in by Duvernay. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Working with a second and four. Here's the option play now to the left. And he'll take this one down to the 36. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start. And then a nice tackle to finish things off. think this has the carry it does not it's no good and that will keep this a two-point game good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal here's first down from the 42 now if this was a clear day in September I'd say this is well within his range I'd feel very confident about this kick but let's be honest about it in these elements the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten now Lawrence to throw. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should... And they try to razzle-dazzle, but the ball's out. And he brings this one back. A fumble return for a Jacksonville score. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is up to five. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Taken in at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Now he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because... I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Lawrence. 
And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. They'll run with ETN. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Another tote for ETN. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Lawrence, now this is ETN on the draw. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. From the gun on third down, Lawrence buying time to his left. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Here's Logan Cook now. As they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And they will get to this one and down it at the 13-yard line. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And they work this well upfield across the 45. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisco. And the Jags are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. On play action, Lawrence. And he wisely will throw that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens' 43-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's ETN. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. To throw on second and 10, Lawrence. Screenplay, here's ETN. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. They go play action now, Lawrence. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. And the Ravens are right back in this football game. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive, he'll look to throw. He's gonna go up top again. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisco. 
Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Play action. It's Lawrence. The pass complete to Ingram on the crossing route. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. On first down, Lawrence. He targets Ingram for another grab. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Straight ahead, ETN. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw, Lawrence. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Back to the ground with ETN. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The offense on third down, they're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This will be third and five. Oh, no, he lost the football, and it's picked up by the Ravens. There he goes, left side. He's at the 30, 10, and this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. And a big turning point here in the second half, Charles, after that play. All you're trying to do is change momentum, flip things around for your team. You're just trying to take the ball away. How about when you take it away and score? That really changes things. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat. It. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Patrick Queen. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. And Baltimore is offense set for this next possession. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And he will have a Ravens first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and run. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. Here's Edwards again on second down. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. 
as he'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. Being chased out left. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. They pass up the three, fake it, it doesn't work. And the Jaguars are able to come up with a goal line stand. So here now, Lawrence and the Jaguars, down 23-20, a minute 16 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing now, Lawrence. This is caught. It's Kirk. Lawrence. Able to find Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Here's Lawrence. And his throw is incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 26. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Maybe some temptation here to try to go for the win, but I think you got to kick the field goal. I agree totally. When you look at the time left on the clock, that's not a spot where you take the gamble. Go ahead and kick the field goal here and take it from there. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. Four seconds to go. This would send us to overtime. And his kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Well, they fought hard to reach this point, Charles, and now what an opportunity. They've got the ball first, a chance to take this overtime win away from the hostile crowd. And you know as the quarterback steps into the huddle, the first thing he's telling his team is, remember, we need six, not three. So we don't need a good drive. We need a great drive. And this is what they've been planning for. It's time to end. And this will be caught at the 30. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. The extra point splits the uprights, and they will take a seven-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. 
Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at the 31-yard line. First throw of overtime for Trevor Lawrence. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This complete to Jones. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Looking to throw. Lawrence. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Lawrence going to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But what looked like a march to the end zone is hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. ETN up the middle. Down right around the 25. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Now Lawrence. Touchdown, Jaguars! Christian Kirk on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Trevor Lawrence. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that will tie the ball game. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Fielded right around the eight. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And now here come the Ravens. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he is going to lose yardage here. Foye Aluakon finding his way to the ball for a stop. A tackle for loss. On second down, it's Edwards. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. The partner, I think the more you see him play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think his big boys up front, that offensive line, they've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. So it's up now to one of the most accurate kickers in NFL history, Justin Tucker. And now the Jags going to signal for another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Jackson. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it this time, doesn't work out. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Lawrence. Oh, and it's intercepted. 
picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens are going to have it with a chance to win the game here in overtime. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their second and final timeout, remember, here in overtime. We'll be back. Fourth down, here's Jackson. He's got a man complete. A gigantic call there in overtime, but it pays off with a first down. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They run once more with Edwards. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their... Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Brought down by Trayvon Walker on the pass rush. Now from back at the nine after that last play, this is third and goal. They'll try and run Edwards. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Are you I, one of those guys I'm a little skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you skeptical. trust it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice. Got your notes laminated, because, you know, open-air booth, that rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly. Wise beyond his years. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.